in this video, I wanted to share with you our experience using the Evo Grill. Um, we rented this huge house for our family, our extended family, on vacation, and they had an Evo Grill, and so we tried it out, and I wanted to share with you my first impressions overall, as well as like showing you guys what we cooked on it, what we thought of it, and why we would buy it. It is five to six thousand dollars. I know that is a lot of money, um, so that's what we're saving up for. But just wanted to kind of show you guys what we did on vacation when we uh, basically did a hibachi night. We uh, cooked ribs on it. We also did uh, bratwurst and cooked a bunch of veggies and even rice on there. And so I wanted to show you a video of it and some close-ups so that you guys have an understanding of what an Evo Grill built-in uh, cooktop looks like just so that you guys have an idea of real life use cases for this grill, so stay tuned. All right, so this is what the grill actually looks like, okay? This thing is massive. It has a 30 inch cooktop. The specific model of this one is the Evo Affinity 30G series built in grill, also known as a drop in grill. And these are all the knobs that go with it. So in order to operate it, you have to turn both knobs to light and then push the button located at the bottom left side of the grill underneath the Evo label. It will click, but you won't hear it ignite and you'll be able to feel it like heating up. Then you can turn it to high or medium. And then once you do that, you can replace the oil and then you can use like avocado oil, sesame oil, vegetable oil on the grill and then grill all the food that you want to. Um, as you can see here, like this is probably our third or second time using it and it's already like oiled up and all of the like the oil and stuff kind of go to the side which makes it really easy to uh, cook and just remove all the fat from the food and it goes into that little uh, hole slot right there but this thing is massive and if you guys are looking for a technical review this is not it um, I'm literally just showing you how we used it and how easily when we rented this vacation home that my um, in-laws and as well as my husband was able to basically like cook so this is my brother cooking eggs we're making uh fried rice like the eggs for the fried rice and as you can see here he is not a hibachi chef by any means this is the first time i'm using it and as you can see the spatulas come with the grill right so um right now you're looking at eggs being basically scrambled so that we can add rice on top of it after this is not a technical review guys um so let's be real here i just wanted to share with you how living the high life of buying something like this that's around six thousand dollars um is quite a uh, splurge if i say so myself so here you can see we're uh, cooking up onions and then uh you'll see him also kind of cook up like vegetables and they cook so evenly this table top grill was amazing it's a it's drop in grill right and what you can do is basically cook things evenly it goes from i think 200 to 700 degrees fahrenheit and it's completely even like it's amazing how fast it cooked for our family of like i think 12 between 12 and 15 people and then to clean it um you have to do this for every use but you start with a warm cook surface probably right after cooking then you want to use a flat scraper and gently scrape and remove the food particles in the debris and then you will need a cleaning pad like a scotch bright pad um, directly on the surface and you just want to make sure that you pour a bunch of oil on it um, and all over the pad and then you'll want to go into a circular motion in order to clean it and you'll want to make sure again there's oil on it because it's kind of like a cast iron skillet uh, where you want to make sure that you season the cooktop once you clean it it should be a black and shiny cooktop now is it worth six thousand dollars for even cooking probably not are there alternatives yes i mean there are alternatives like cuisine art has like a black top cooktop um and there are a bunch of portable ones but there are also different versions of the evo grill too depending on uh your use case so there's one for camping there's one for portability if you don't want it built in um so there's a ton of different options for evo itself as well as uh kind of knockoffs if you will now, is it worth $6,000? I'm not sure. If you have disposable income, yes. I mean, it's definitely awesome. Um, and especially if you have like a vacation home and you're trying to uh, basically rent to upscale, I don't know, people with a lot of disposable income, this would definitely be a selling point. And if you're thinking about like building into um, your outdoor dining space, yes, for sure. I would recommend at least considering this because the cooking on this, if you, especially if you like, like to entertain or host family and cook, it is awesome. Um, so I would highly recommend it if you have the money. 
otherwise I think you should get something a little bit more affordable um, this was definitely a splurge house for our extended family stay uh, in a vacation home and so I'm really excited that I got to use I hope you guys liked that video if you guys have any questions at all on this use case of this Evo grill uh, that is built into this amazing island go ahead and comment below more than happy to help answer any questions I also have a blog post related to our use and more details on there as well so go ahead and check out the comments below thanks guys Bye.